record button here and let's start. Yep, Ashton versus Peckham. Both players, it's been a hot minute since we've seen them in the top eight territory, even if it's loser side here. Man, there's like so many good young link players that, especially I've done uh, well at MSM, at least three. Yeah, we've seen Ashton, Colonies, and Alpha. Yep. And uh, Kairos. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and Kairos, you're actually right, Kairos. Yeah. Young Link's a very good character. I'm glad more people are using him. I remember there's a lot of hype around Young Link when they first showed how he plays in Ultimate, and then uh, for, for all the early, already... for all the zero weakers who downloaded. Yeah, yeah, later. right, right. And then uh, I don't know, like he just he would just stop playing him because I guess you know he had all these cool combos with it was really difficult to kill. But I think he got one really good buff with the up smash. Oh, Not so that he needs up smash only to kill, but. Yeah, I I think that the buff gave a lot of uh, young links and people who are interested in the character like more hope and willingness to play this character. But oh my god, that snipe was crazy! I love that up B though. That up B to just cover all where they're trying to recover. Yeah, and it's really good too because if you fast fall it after that side special from Min Min, you can cover a lot of opportunities there in that situation. So but here is the grab forward throw enough for action to kind of. Work on this stage positioning here. Unfortunately, though, Minmin is able to come in with that arms. But Peckham, like, picks aggressive options when I'm not expecting it. And I'm <laughs> pretty sure Ashton doesn't expect it either. It's really, it's really good mix. Oh my god, that shield, dude. He's oh. so smart about how he uses the Megawatt, too, to pressure shield. He also he... does a thing where he, uh, he'll use the arm, right? And then he'll just, like, walk backwards a little bit. So he, like... He still stays safe. He tried to actually spike him. <laughs> That's crazy. It, it was kind of worth the risk because if Peckham had like gotten that read, then he could have spiked them and probably survived. But yeah, unfortunately, Ashton, he's no slouch. Yeah. Uh, something I know is that Peckham does that other mid mids aren't doing. He's uh, really smart about using like the ability to walk back and forth with. Uh, Min Min while doing while using the arms. Yeah, she she's kind of like an advancing pressure character where like she can just be mid stage and all of a sudden close the entire stage with just being able to walk. Yeah, super really... walking in this game is super important. Oh, but for Min Min it's great. Did you see that his uh, arm went through the arrow? He just yeah. like walked forward, shot the arm, went right through that. So that's actually really good for him. Oh. Nice, great, yeah, back great back here. Guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. Still in a rough spot though. Oh, Ooh, rough spot indeed. Covered so much space, man. I like the choice to stay on the platform while throwing the arm out there. Really ambiguous area for like Ashton to know where to block. Very difficult. Yeah. Oh, that oh. was an excellent down tilt here because he can confirm that to the hero spin and he gets that one one in stock here. We talked about how Young Wing's back air was so great. And that's because there are situations where it's out of shield, you can convert into another back air, into other combos from like back air to back air to fast follow back air to up smash. There's a lot of crazy things that we can do just by being able to connect that back air. That's Especially if it's true. fast follow back air one. All right, well, Min Min is talking really funny for being in, for somebody who's in Young Link range, but it's kind of vice versa there for Ash here. Finally able to close the gap here, looking for the edge guard. I like that he sends that bomb high because he wanted to cover the jump from Peckham, just in case he might've gone for it. Again, I, I really like that Peckham's playing around the projectile so intelligently here. Recognizing that, you know, you can stay at a range where you can just block the projectiles most of the time, or you can just throw out a, a move to cancel it out while also advancing a little bit closer in this stage. Yeah, and you can see Peckham is just trying to fight off the corner there, a little oh. by little, but unfortunately, Ash is going to close the gap here all the way from center stage, takes the opportunity, and it worked out pretty well here, 89 to 69%. Really good air dodge there to avoid getting hit by the dragon shot. Okay. Trying to advance excellent here on the way. Empty nice. Up. Nice, nice. Excellent yeah. empty hop here. And hi, Jocelyn, you made the right bet. I have Ashton for $5. And good, sir, you'll see that $5 paid off for taking game one. Yeah, really, really good spacing there. 
Peckham's so smart, though. You can see that even when he's at disadvantage on the right side of the stage, he's not jumping out of that situation at all. He's waiting for all the situations where Link just commits to throwing every single projectile, and then he finally pushes in. That's what I'm really liking from Peckham here, is he kind of understands uh, the mid-range between both of the players. And I will kind of say the way that Peckham's been playing, he's been kind of coming out on top a little bit in that mid-range, just because it's so scary for Young Link that he can take care of stocks really, really early because Young Link is kind of light. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, honestly, the only thing um, I saw Peckham like, was struggling with was really getting around that down to mix-up. Like, mix, would he, uh, Ashen would just do like an empty hop down to him in his face. But uh, everywhere else, uh, Ashen really looked like he was struggling to get most of his combo started um, in this matchup. So, yeah, if Pekka can find a way around that one kill setup, I wouldn't be surprised to see him take this game. I have not heard that song in forever. So just hearing it right now just really weirds me out. Enough of that. Um, good stuff though, I'm back I'm here, kind of just jumping a little bit away to kind of get a fade away with the aerials. Back throw, careful. Nice, and I like the fact that he goes for that jump because there's so, so much, much he can coverage. do with it. Yep. So much coverage, dude. If Ashley you came into that jump. Basically, you basically have to fastball in that situation. And yeah. even then, if if they know you're going to do that, they can cover your recovery still with like a exactly. down angle arm. That's actually so crazy. It's actually oh, oh. no! Yeah, you can't, you, you're, you should be dead here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. No, we're living, we're he living. didn't charge long enough. That's fine for uh, peck him anyway. He almost got another shield break. If he didn't power carry that last one, probably would have broke it. But yeah, you can't just hold shield for free versus his character, especially when they have the megawatt arm. Yeah, megawatt. That's what makes their shield pressure. Shield. That's what makes their shield pressure so scary. Yeah, that's why he's continuing to hold the Megawatt here. Not only will it kill, but, you know, Ashen will be able to block it for free. Great use of the Dragon Fang shot as well. Cover a lot of area on the stage. Yep. Ooh. He literally just bullied him into the corner of the stage. Made it so that Ashton really couldn't press that many buttons safely. That's, like, exactly what you want to do with Min Min, especially on this stage. Yeah, most definitely. Like, you give a young boy such a hard time. He's nice. Oh, with the ram ram? Did he angle it? Yep, he should be dead. He was dead after the other one. Like, he actually didn't need to do the second one. <laughs> he wasn't going to come back. That was a comeback. So that was a three stock, right? Yep, that was a three stock, three stock yeah. indeed. Casual, casual three stock. Just doing min min, like the basic min min strat. <laughs> That's very, very strong on FD. Yeah, and it's so hard too, because there's some situations where, like, Yes, Ashen could just grab a bomb and hopefully the bomb will blow up in time. But remember, the bomb is a six second timer on Young Link. So if he doesn't pull out that bomb as soon as he's far off the stage, it's curtains. And pretty much Peckham, like you said, right? He kind of just bullied Young Link to be far off on the stage. The big benefactor on this was the amount of shield pressure Ashton was able to put on with Megawatt and then just kind of close it out here on that last talk with the Ram Ram because it covers such an angle there, especially for Young Link's hero spin because he only has hero spin to go for a recovery when he's on the deeper end. Yeah, the thing about that too is Ashton already died for going high. So he's like, okay, I need to go low now. But then yep. as you saw, he's like, well, I can cover low too. I just need to switch to the other arm. Exactly. And the one thing I didn't see Ashton probably try to play out here is go for the tether recovery. But you know what? It's a whole new game here. One win a piece. We'll see if Ashton does put that into consideration this game this time around. Yeah, I like the Smashville pick. Um, not as much space for Min Min to keep him out. And he can cover the platform, middle platform really well if he does decide to jump. But, uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what Peckham does here on this counter pick. Nice. Yeah, he's really smart about um, choosing when to play aggressive off stage when he's recovering, especially when you know they're just holding center stage. They just think that they're completely safe there, but he just shoots them with the dragon shot from like halfway across the stage. <laughs> Very uh, surprising. Nice, good double jump there from Ashen. He's able to get through both arms, come with a little bit of aggression. Man, Min Min is a social distance character. Man, please stay six feet away from me. <laughs> Don't come any closer. 
Y bomb, yep, you can still make another recover with a B. Always remember, Link only gets a second hero spin, not another jump. Oh, the boomerang coming in clutch. Okay, nice. Again, great recovery from Pekumir. Oh, the mm. boomerang leading to the forder. Again, like he just makes his recovery very safe by throwing out that dragon shot. Yep, completely fine here. Oh, and the bomb to kind of cover that angle. And you can see that oh, nice. Ashton did a really smart job of setting a bomb in that situation, take take hold of center stage, and then it's Beckham who's actually making those recoveries there, which Ashton can play into. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice call out on the jump. I'm just shocked that that reached. Nice on Ashton here, gets the bomb explosion, yep. Still able yeah. to recover. Yeah, and he's also, oh, he's still gonna die, dang. He was actually recovering really intelligently, like backwards into the ledge, so he wouldn't get hit by the ram ram. Yeah, because he ended up dying anyway. Exactly. Link's hurt box uh, from his head actually sticks out a little bit when he goes for hero spin. Excellent parry there. Able to get around from the down tilt. Bin Min can confirm that down tilt into another smash for some quick percent, and even up tilt as well. Okay, Ashton kind of looking lead here. Nice, gets away from the grab here. Hero spin will bring out the back yep. hitbox to the front one and then take the stock. Yeah, he's just Ashton. been really he's just been really good about sneaking in that down tilt at the edge. And he's so Always. smart about it too, because he empty hops it every single time. Yeah. It's a thing, because Youngly's aerials are so fast that people when they see a young jump in their face, they're already they're trying to shield. Yeah. That's just like your first reaction too, because you're so scared right, of the there Z drop, nice. That was good too because it stopped. It stopped the megawatt, and it would have potentially allowed Ashton to leave Peckham in center stage and then do more damage. Great coverage with new, that neutral edge, just because it's such a big. It's kind of slow, but the way that Peckham had gone for the up B was good for it. Ashton's playing as safe as he can here, trying to rack up as much percent before losing his stock. I can't okay. tell if that shield hook, but he's got it. Yeah, he can recover still. Reverse? No, this time he goes for normal. Nice. I actually do like the bomb recoveries here because it he's recovering at an angle that's really difficult to even get tagged by the ram ram. Exactly. And like I mentioned earlier, you have to be a little bit off the far end to have enough time on that six second timer. It's not like Link where you can actually self detonate. Don't sleep on Mimin's damage output, though. It's <laughs> no. actually a pretty even game. <laughs> Right now. Yeah, 39 is 65% here. Ashton looking to push an advantage oh. here with each projectile. He's got a little bit of a lead in. I like that play. Wow. Quick fast fall into the down smash. Not it just yet here. Oh, great recovery from Beckham. What? Gets tagged by the bombs. This is Can't Ashton's game to lose. Here. Oh, yeah, that downer does not have any lag. <laughs> what a cool lag. lag. Yeah, he just wanted to try to fight his way out of the corner, but yeah, Ashton's pressure is a little bit too good. <laughs> a little bit too good indeed. Ashton moves up 2-1 up against here, Peckham. Yo, what's up, HP Azure? Yeah, the only link is ridiculously good. I, all three, in my opinion, all three links is good. I think two link is the most underrated of all three links. I think links is pretty solid. And I think Young Link is definitely the one that shines above the three, for sure. Yeah, they're all good. It doesn't matter which one you pick. They're, they're good. Yeah, yeah, they're all good. All right, well, game four, potentially last game for Ashton here, just because specifically... I'm about to jump in that commentary chat. You ain't ready. <laughs> Good to see you in the chat, though, buddy. Good to see you in the chat here. Like I said, game four, Ashton on the final game, possibly, or Wolfpack and able to bring it back. Yeah, we got the PS2 counter pick here. I'm curious as to why he wants this stage in this matchup specifically, but hopefully it helps him out. He needs something for you to a game five. 
I think I think for Peckin here is he's got to make a little bit of adjustments there in situations where he's on the ledges because there's a lot of time where Ashen's able to come in with a lot of aggression because he doesn't jump out or any of those options. He can go for something like down tilt, but in other situations too, there's a lot of times where Ashen kind of catches Peckham holding shield too long and he empty hops him for it. Yep. He's also calling out a lot of uh, jumps from the corner too. Exactly. There. So you can always down tilt. I've seen a lot of jokers do down tilt as well. For those recover for those ledge plays. I definitely agree with vacuum tech. I do feel that young Link is kind of a walking highlight reel. <laughs> Any moment he gets an aerial on you or a projectile, it's a highlight reel to be seen. Okay, he's gonna jump to the platform here. Ooh, sneaking in that down there. Very fast option. Oh. Projectile setup, very risky here. Yeah, and, and I Peckham like that. Be careful. But nice, aggressive play to get out of the corner. So that's a mega wire here. So Ashton's got to be careful. If he lands in a bad spot, he can Oof. die here. Oh my god, that was a very, very uh, dangerous grab to go oh for. But my oh god. my god. The down air just going through everything. That's the thing about Mimin's arms against certain aerials. <laughs> they will just like clank the entire time. I'm, I'm just at a loss for words, man. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you can't really try to trade very often in those situations, unfortunately, for Peckham. And right now, he is getting hit over and over, continuously being put in a disadvantage. Almost gets that arrow to work. Oh, the reverse, reverse spin? Up, he is it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Worth it. <laughs> no resources off stage. Peckham had no choice but to get hit by that LB. And uh, yeah, now Ashton has a huge lead. Vacuum Mimic tech is actually in a, rough, in a rough spot in this type of situation because she's not a character that thrives when they're forced to approach. She's like yes. the character that wants to punish you for holding in. That is definitely but, uh, true here. We'll see. We'll see if Peckham has what it takes to make this comeback happen. Uh, if he I'll doesn't, see. he's out of here. 3-1 action. And I see Peckham definitely on the receiving and he's kind of frustrated. He's showing signs of frustration. He's swinging a lot with those arms, but never forget, they're good at a distance, but not up close. Only safe if you actually use the fair one from the dragon. And it's really, really difficult because the returning on the arms is not great in like for Minmin here. But finally, Peckham with a little bit of a break. 75 to 50, he pushes Ash and off stage. Here. Can he get a stock at the situation? Finally! Oh, covering the roll with the Megawatt. Exactly what he needs to bring this back. And you already saw Minmin can kill with one interaction. <laughs> so I'm not going to count out a Peckham here at all. Ashton might also recognize this as well. Try to play as safe as possible. Not give him any free punishes. His nose, Mimin. What a call out, so yeah. Much what? And you, nice call on the jump again. Okay. And you've been saying it starts too. Ashton has been calling these jump out of shields here. I haven't seen Peckham go for a down tilt, but at that situation, Ashton was really smart to lay the bomb as a trap. But if he did go for down tilt, he was going to have to worry about that. Nice, the aggression, oh, the aggression. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just the raw aggression, man. He went in there with Boomerang and there, and he called it a day. Ashton here with 3-1 over Beckham. He just kept kicking. <laughs> That's it.